Hello everybody, I just wanted to make this quick unboxing because when this goes up I will be celebrating my mom's birthday with my niece, nephew, my sister, and my sister's boyfriend. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do a lot then. But today we have my BBTS uh, package. It's uh, Studio Series Red Buster. So, just get right into this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. We don't care about the box here. Thank you, blah, 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 blah. Here he is, Studio Series Roadbuster, in all of his green glory. Look at that guy. We'll get a closer look at him when I get him out of the package. Pack package. Yeah. So let's get him free of his restraints, and yeah. So, first impressions, I think this guy is pretty good. He is very faithful to the original on-screen appearance. He looks leagues, and he is bounds ahead of the original one in terms of detail, in terms of presence, in terms of everything. Me, uh, personally, I think this guy it was worth the money I spent on him, but one complaint right out of the box is that his, for me, his little machine, his Gatling gun comes off too easily, but that's just the peg is too shallow. So if you get Roadbuster, at Studio Series Roadbuster, just know that this peg on his arm is very shallow. And this won't plug in all the way. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Uh, on mine, the elbow is a little loose, but eh, whatever. But yeah, I think this is a solid representation. And for more of an in-depth uh, look, I'm going to be doing a Deep Ogre review on him this er, this coming week. So, yeah, stay tuned. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this has been your bat out of hell that hasn't slept for almost a week. Signing off, and, well, peace.